Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. The Ministry of Education hosted a remote ceremony to honour 100 teachers who contributed to delivering televised lessons after the outbreak of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. Education Minister Dr Majid bin Ali al Nawemi patronised the virtual session in the presence of officials in addition to the Information Ministry Assistant Undersecretary for Radio and TV Affairs, Abdullah Khaled al Dosari. A book was also launched during the virtual ceremony, documenting the efforts exerted by officials and teachers to prepare and deliver the televised lessons in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs. Addressing the virtual ceremony, Dr Ali Noemi paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his royal support to students and the educational sector. He stressed the Ministry's success in switching to online learning in compliance with the decision of the Executive Committee, chaired by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also extended thanks to Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Mubarak Al Khalifa, for his keen follow-up. He praised fruitful cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs, adding that 800 lessons have so far been delivered during this school year. He extended thanks to the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramehi, all officials and Bahrain TV personnel for the fruitful cooperation, which contributed to the success of the televised lessons. Dr Al Noemi cited more than 37 million visits to the Ministry's educational portal, 214,503 uploaded lessons, 367,968 activities, 214,951 discussion sessions, 188,394 enrichment exercises. The Friendship Forum held under the chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece concluded its activities in the Greek capital today with the participation of Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdel Latif bin Rashid al Ziani. The forum issued a statement in which the participating ministers affirmed the country's joint commitment to international law, including the United Nations, United Nations Security Council resolutions and the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. They also uttered strong commitment to the basic principles such as respect for sovereignty, sovereign rights, independence, territorial integrity of states, peaceful resolution of disputes, rejection of threats or use of force, non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries and the freedom of navigation. The statement also emphasised the awareness of the participating countries at this critical juncture dominated by the corona pandemic of the need to show solidarity and coordinate efforts in order to reduce the repercussions of this health crisis on the economies of the countries. The statement expressed the willingness of the participating countries to enhance results-orientated exchanges, as well as joint actions and initiative areas such as energy innovation, digital economy, civil protection and people-to-people communication. They also expressed desire to explore the possibilities of increasing cooperation in the fields of science, agriculture, food security, education, academic training, interfaith dialogue and culture and sports. The statement emphasised the views were exchanged on major international and regional issues, including developments in the Middle East, peace process, Cyprus, Syria, Libya, Yemen and the Eastern Mediterranean issue. The statement also indicated that it was agreed to refer to the forum henceforth as the Philia Forum, building friendship, peace and prosperity from the Mediterranean to the Gulf, and would be effective, flexible and open to other countries in the region and beyond that to share their above values and principles. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iraq, Fouad Hussein, on the sidelines of the Philia Friendship Forum. Dr Alziani praised the distinguished fraternal relations between Bahrain and Iraq, expressing his pride and appreciation in advanced relations in various fields and reviewing means to advance them to wider horizons for the good benefit of the two brotherly countries and peoples. For his part, Fuad Hussein affirmed the strength of the fraternal relations between the two countries, stressing Iraq's keenness to develop bilateral relations in a way that meets common aspirations and achieves the desired goals. He praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's strenuous efforts to achieve security and stability in the region, wishing it continued progress and prosperity. They also discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation and a number of regional and international issues of common concern. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. 
The Ministry of Health announced the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached 224,919. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 6,770, with 526 recoveries, 812 registered new cases. 324 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 481 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel-related. The Ministry announced two deaths, a 68-year-old male citizen and a 75-year-old female citizen from COVID-19, and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.